going to be showing you tanky conquer Zin Zhao carry. This is the best way to play Zin Zhao if you don't want to fall off. If you're playing him any other way, he will like fall off quite a bit. I'm actually going to go for more of a full clear. Normally you don't want to take your red side till you're level 3. I'll make an exception. I'm going to be pathing towards my trundle. I'll say I won't take my raptors until I'm level 3. But yeah, if you're playing Zinzai with Conqueror, Frostfire Gauntlets, things like Titanic and Sterix, he actually scales crazy well. He's ridiculously tanky, he can stay alive in fights, perma heal. Kind of like a Warwick. You see, Zinzai clear is pretty crazy good, man. I don't even have W yet, and we turn Golems into Mush. We have a Trundle up against a Darius. I can't imagine this turns out well for me and my team. I Trundle's about to run it down, so. I don't know why he picked that. He was pretty late pick on our team too, so he, I think he had a pretty good idea what he's playing into. Oh well, we'll be pushing into it. We could have went straight for the gank. I don't know if it's warded though, and I don't want to walk straight into it, but I'm gonna go ahead and head up there right now. It's probably too late. Hopefully it's not warded. All right, it's not too late, guys. Uh, in a perfect world, we would have just continued clearing in the Scuttle Crab, but in this world, when there's a free opportunity, you take it. And that was like really, really free because the dude was playing like he was on Bath Salts. So we'll, we'll take that. Uh, I don't know if Trundle's pinging. I'll probably unmute him. He might have actually been giving me good information. I generally just full mute my teams, even in higher elo when I play jungle. Just because people's pings are useless to me. I'm looking at the minimap constantly. Like I know what's... I have a pretty good idea of what's happening at all times. You want to max your W first. Trundle top and really does just feel like a worse version of Warwick top. Warwick top has more mobility. And is just generally scrappier. I don't know why Cat would roam over here like that. That was a waste. Especially since we don't need her. She's just going to scare Darius away. I believe this guy still has his flash. I think Trundle wants to push. Get out of it, What are you doing, man? I don't know what this guy's doing. I guess she got froze on. She needs me to come help her break freeze. Ah, uh, he's TPing. A trundle top room. When's the last time you guys saw that? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and reset. We're sitting on a crap load of gold. She got a kill. No way, bro. Trundle room. Cracked. Gotta nerf that. Yeah, so first item you're gonna wanna rush is in, pal. We'll go Lucidity straight into these bad boys, and we already have our sweeper, so we're going to push out onto the map. The whole point of Lucidities is to let you gank more, plus with the cooldown reduction, it helps you farm your camps a lot faster since their W has way too much base damage against monsters. That's the whole concept. Outside of Evelyn, Karthus is my second favorite jungle, and then it's my third right now. Nunu and Zac are a little weak for me to be playing. They run a little bit slow, and since I'm in Smurf queue, I need to like be able to have early game agency, which Zac and Nunu don't really allow for. Nunu allows for more than Zac, but not as much as I need right now. Zin Zhao, in my opinion, is just a better Nunu. His ganks are good enough, and he has good enough damage. Like, he's just better. So, yeah, so look at this. We, we W, we EQ, and then our W's back up, and look, the whole camp's cleared. Uh, that's, that's how insane Lucidity Zin Zhao is. It's pretty gross. Can w over the wall which gives you vision you also get to use it sooner that way oh that's not good he just got soloed by darius there i guess i'll go top i don't know why people are playing so aggressive this game it's like 
bath salts all around. No, that didn't just happen, did it? That did just happen. Oh, well. Yo, thank you for the 200 bits, Kurth. Would you recommend Rek'Sai and Italy Warwick to climb the plat? Uh, I wouldn't recommend the Nidalee. I'd say Rek'Sai, Zinzao, Fiddlesticks. Warwick's okay, but he's situational. Rek'Sai is the best one you listed there for just raw picking. Gonna push into his jungle since he's dead. And we'll come mid real quick. We wanna run up. Ideally, you wanna E, Q, then W against champions. That way, you can't dodge your W. I had to W there just to get to her. Otherwise, she would have ran away from me. Plus, she stood still to channel her thing. I wanna just try to freeze the wave there. But you make sure on Zen you're looking for opportunities like this to hop over walls. It saves you like five plus seconds. And you can do that with dragons and has the longest dash in the game just about with his w it extends his uh e range it's kind of nuts oh this game's gonna be hard to carry I'm dead. Oh, or am I? I guess I'm just gonna run. This, this, that got hella sus. I didn't realize they're bot relay and we're gonna rotate that quickly. Hopefully, we kinda got out too. That was insane. We actually won that play. I, had, I just have to run now. I don't know if Hecarim has R, if he has a ghost or what. So I'm just gonna run. Dude, I'm literally gonna get all of his camps though. Give drag, guys. It's just one dragon. It doesn't matter if they get it. It's not worth dying for, though. I was too far away from that situation. And I couldn't have perceived that working positively for us. So, I didn't go cool enough. It turned out for us. Regardless, though, if we did just give, I was going to get, like, five of Hecarim's camps anyways, which would have been a huge steal. Ridiculously good for us. We're gonna EWQ against monsters. You W pretty much immediately because they can't dodge your W. Obviously, like a champion can. And we're gonna back now. Guess so we gotta go top real quick. We'll get mana as we run over here. Oh, we can't. Uh, I really don't like this play. It's bait. It's Hecarim's just gonna show up. Yeah. I have tier two boots. He can't chase me. That's fine. We're so far ahead now. I'm just gonna go ahead and reset. We have all of our cans up. What do you think about Udyr's state? I think Udyr is an unhealthy champion. He clears way too fast, and everything else in his kit is extremely stale. He's very one-dimensional, kind of like playing Yumi. I'm not a big fan of that champ. He's just a big stat check champ runs at you. Does cheesy things. You know, you want to max W on Zen pretty much always. His W base damage is insane. At least on Zen jungle, you always want to max your W first. It's cooldown is like, there's no cooldown. Do you see we just used it a second time? Because your Q puts everything else on a lower cooldown. It's just gross. It's a lot of AoE, a lot of base damage. It extends your jump range. You might as well max it first. Per level, the cooldown gets lower too, which is very important for Zen.
You see how fast these clears are, dude? We're clearing as fast as like a full 80s in Zao right now. We're unstoppable. This build is actually way too strong. If you guys play this, there's just no way to really lose. Oh, I guess I'll just go for minions. Oh, I guess she backed off. Cat is like AFK typing. She's probably like mad that I did that. She's probably mad, like she just stopped playing. This guy's done a lot of weird things where he just stands still randomly. I'll go for Herald now because we have mid prio. Some general top prio as well. And I'm also have full item advantage over Hector. He's not full item yet, and I have frozen gaunts. Pretty much every jungler in the game at this point goes Lucidities. The item's overtuned. It's really inexpensive and gives really good stats. I'd say the majority of meta junglers do go Lucidities. And then you can always take tenacity in your runes like I did this game. Like that, you don't. Like you don't steal jungle XP from the jungle, that's bad. She just, she literally just stood there to last hit steal it from me. I think that's a lot of XP and she doesn't get it all since she doesn't have jungle item. That's frustrating. I didn't even need her to do that. Like this guy is so weird. Blacksmith Prime, thank you for the five months, man. Thoughts about League itself? Yeah, that was a fun video. It's, it's basically too late to lay this for plates. Yeah, this cat, this guy's really temperamental. I'm afraid to even take this wave and push it in, even though she's not here. She just AFKs a lot and just stands in place. Like, the right place for me to shove this to force Irelia to come back to lane so she doesn't roam from base, but this cat is really sus. Oh, that was... I'm gonna go take Hecram's red buff. Oh my god, this build is cracked as hell, man. <laughs> Man, this build is so broken. I didn't even have red smite. Yo, Fluffy and Vesalian. Thank you for the primes, guys. Thank you for the subs. Zan, you just killed me, Trundle. <laughs> Why, Trundle back? I could have broken the turret, but Trundle just stood there on her turret and got r That's unfortunate. Sheesh, dude. All right, let's go for, I guess we go for Sterix now. So we could go Sterix or Titanic. We don't even need Titanic though, so. Yeah, Derek's just got unbelievably fed off that. That was like, uh, that was like, a, that was like a 1300 gold for Darius, what he just got. We got Sterix, we'll push for Dragon. This Kata is basically AFK this whole game. I don't understand. She just backs and stands still constantly. Like, I, I literally see her like more in base and I see her on the map, but you never should type things like that to your teammates. That's not helpful. It's generally not too good to focus on that stuff either because then you don't see other things in the game. But yeah, you can go over walls. Wow, that missed. I literally put it right over it. That was kind of interesting. Go 
Looks like Trundle got a kill on Hecarim. We get Dragon, and we should get the next Herald as well. This game's looking pretty good for us. Straight back in the W, it's always up, and we're maxing W first, so it gives a lot of damage. We'll use our Q reset, even though we don't have anything else to use. Ideally, we'd be able to eat a minion. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that one, Darius. Oh, she flashed. I was just gonna W jump on her. It's not worth if she's going to flash like that. Uh, I kinda just wanna back off this situation. This is a weird situation. Use our attack speed, auto attack key reset, and we're gonna get the turrets. We really shouldn't stay for more. I really want these raptors. I want raptors in the full clear my top side. There's no other camps for me to take here. We might as well clear since there's no dragon, there's no herald, there's nothing up. In fact, we could have wolves like blue gromp into scuttle herald here. How they're great, grace 50 seconds or less. We take our W, we press it over the wall. Bada boom. We go over the wall, knock him up, straight back into W. This is why you don't actually need team at Anzin Zhao. I used to really like going for Titanic. It's just not gold efficient enough since Zin's clears are already AoE with his W and his E AoE. We're not going to smite Skull. I want to say smite for this Herald and then we end the game. Feelings on Nunu to plat. You can play Nunu in any elo. I just think Zin's better right now. You can take literally any champion in League of Legends to at least a diamond. Even non-viable champions when one trick can like place in masters and low GM. Like there's one tricks on terrible champions and you'll see them like low GM masters or whatever. Team's fighting without me. This trundle is actually really, really big. I don't understand it. He's like full health. It's so weird. Yeah, I'll just lay this down mid, I guess. Surprised they haven't surrendered. This is very one sided. Harold, use your attack. This Hecarim really doesn't want to lose. <laughs> he literally ran out to smite it. He's trying to stall this game out. It's kind of funny. Wow, why is Soraka so fast? Like, Soraka was moving so- she wasn't even moving towards an ally when she was running in her base. That was insane. There was no one in there. <laughs> she's moving like 20 miles an hour. She moves that fast when there's a low teammate she's moving towards. And that is GG, boys. That is how you absolutely stomp on Xin Zhao. Absolutely carry yourself.